So today we're talking about Dutch negotiations. What's that? Check out the video to find out. Welcome to the Amazon Lit YouTube channel. My name's Eric and we're here to provide you with a ton of content to help you grow your Amazon business. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Stay lit. So now the next thing we're going to talk about is something that we like to call a Dutch negotiation. And now it's much easier to do a Dutch negotiation when you're working with a bunch of the larger distributors out there because then you can pin them against each other and that when you get deep into this distributor and wholesale industry, the larger distributors, they all know each other. Right? And the idea behind a Dutch negotiation is to negotiate pricing with two or more distributors and then tell the other distributor what the other distributor is giving you the product for. Right? So let's say distributor A, and these, this is with the understanding that these are larger distributors. If you're operating, let's say, in a, in a city and you're working with smaller distributors and you're, working, you're trying to do a Dutch negotiation with two distributors in that city, then this may work as well. This tactically may work because they may consider themselves competitors. Right? So we're going to go with this example with either two smaller distributors in a local city who may be competitors or two national distributors who are competitors and they know who each other are. It's important that the, the distributors know who they are in order to operate and, and precisely this Dutch negotiation. So let's say distributor A has the same product, right? This Axe Dark Temptation, we're gonna go back to this. Let's say distributor A has this product, they're gonna be a little more expensive. We're gonna say they have it for 175 and distributor B has this product for 150, right? So you're gonna go back and forth with these companies and you're gonna say, hey, distributor B, I need this product for 142, right? Let's say that's the price you're trying to get to. I need this product for 142. And they're gonna come back and say, nope, we're, start, we're standing firm at 150. No way can we go down to 142, absolutely not. The goal here is to get the product for 142 because that's the price you need it at to make money. Right? So you're going to call distributor A and let them know that, hey, distributor B has this product. Your competitor has this product for $1.50. I need it for $1.42. Can you give it to me for $1.42? And distributor A, they may say, no, but we can give it to you for $1.45. Right, so now you're only three cents away from this number. So you're gonna take this $1.45 and you're gonna bring it back to distributor B and say, hey, distributor A told me they will give me this product for $1.45. Can you beat that? And then they're gonna think about it and there's a high chance, a very high chance that they're gonna come down to this original asking price of 142 because they want the sale over their competitor, right? So the Dutch negotiation is huge when leveraging two distributors against each other because they're all in the same business and the name of that business is sell products and as many products as humanly possible. So if distributor A can take the sale from distributor B or vice versa, they're gonna do whatever they can do to take that. Now there is instances where they just can't get to this 142 and this distributor might be stuck at 145 and this distributor might be stuck at 150 and then obviously you go with distributor A because they're at 145, right? But if that's their lowest, if you can get them lower and you can pin them against each other and keep communicating with your account rep like, hey, distributor B's got it for this price and then when they go lower, you say, hey, distributor A's got it for this price and then when they go lower, you say, hey, distributor B's got it at this price. And you just keep going back and forth until you get it for the price that you want it for. And what this is going to do, it's going to line your pockets with money. 
And that's the name of the game. That's why we're in this business. That's why I watch hours worth of YouTube videos. That's why you watch hours worth of YouTube videos. That's why you're watching this video is to line your pockets with money. That's why. That's why we're doing this. So don't forget the end game here. The goal, right? Money and happiness. That's why we're doing this. So if we can save money, which will make us happy doing something that we love, then you're on the right track. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and stay lit.